Guys, it's Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Um, there's so much things I want to talk about, so many things I want to get done. Oh my god, it is so hot in here. Let me turn on the fan like a little bit more, okay? Hey girl, I didn't turn the AC on. I have like a life update. I just want to talk to you guys. I feel like I have not done like a sit down video. I normally do them as car vlogs, but as, oh my god, there's just so many things to talk about. Life update, I feel like Hailey Bieber, um, some things that are hitting the vibe this week. There's just so many things we have to talk about, besties. Like, I literally miss you guys. Can I give you a hug? Because I definitely want to give you a hug. My, um, you know, trying to be a skinny legend, wearing these little shorts. I feel like I look like this uh, TikToker. She's like a little age lady, and they call her like the sexy lunch lady. And so she always dresses like in shorts and like bras and stuff. And she's like a, es como lonchera. Like she gives it to like the people that like, work in construction and stuff. Uh, she's like such a vibe. And I'm kind of like, I feel like Glau her, I think her name is Claudia Lopez. I literally feel like her and so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna give you a car update so I got a new car like 45 days ago 60 days ago and oh my god like life goes by so fast like I literally feel like what I did yesterday or what I did two hours ago was like a lifetime ago like I'm just always moving on I'm always on the next thing and I just feel like uh like I just feel like I my life is going on a blink of an eye and I'm trying to like live in the moment. I'm trying to live the gay fantasy. But girlies, it's already like June 10th, I think. I don't even know what day it is. But Hot Girl Summer is already coming really fast. We're already on day 10. Allegedly, my conspiracy cannot cannot confirm nor deny. And so I'm about to go to LA, I'm gonna go to Arizona, and then I'm gonna be going to um, New York City. So I have all these like trips planned up, all this keep I keep telling me myself I cannot shop, but um, literally, guys, I cannot help myself. I have some purchases that I want to talk about, and so um, let's go ahead and get started. So, car update um, it is still not finished. Literally, my car has been since the day of Memorial Day, like the, that Tuesday, and today that I'm filming this video is Thursday, so it's like been well over the week. They said the car won't be ready till either Saturday or Saturday. So, basically, what happened is I was like uh, parked in a very like small parking spot, and then when I came out, um, my rear mirror thingy just like, it just literally like came off. And I feel so bad, it's like a brand new car. And so, um, good thing, like, basically I just dropped off my parents, I'm like, here you go, you guys can deal with it. And um, I, I still have my other car, my first car, so I was like, I'll just drive this car, and we'll just kind of keep it moving. And so, I still haven't gotten it, I've been wanting to have my SUV back, because I did want to film things that I keep in the car, like essentials that I want to keep in the car, and just kind of do more car vlogs. I just feel like my old car is like not the vibe, I feel like it's kind of like old me, and so that's definitely like not my vibe, so I want to film videos. Like, I love my first car, I love it, it I love it so much, but it's just like not my vibe anymore, so. Um, that's like a car update. Oh my god. Happy pride for everybody. I love pride It's like the first year where I like I'm actually happy about pride like normally I just think oh, it's just like pride month whatever But it's just because I've been like being a gay homosexual butterfly and I've been so social uh, Shout out to the horchata horchata gang um, Agua whatever I got this from the mall. I, I almost got into a fight on Sunday. I'll tell you guys well, I was wearing the, like one of these like Aritzia bodysuits. I was wearing any Nia being short Anina being blazer like the khaki one and you know, I was just feeling myself I had the little you know, you has like a little bow I was wearing Chanel sneakers and then I was wearing my YSL cake because I told you girlies my cake bag be going through the gigs But she always holds up. She's a good woman And then I was wearing my flat top square Celine's and then I would interchange with my Gucci opticals And I would just kind of like live whatever fantasy so if I was outside um, you know, I had a good Sunday fun day, so I was just kind of like alternating with if I'm in outside I'll wear the glasses if it's inside I'll wear the opticals. I never want to be like I think wearing like Like to the club or like certain social settings. I think it's kind of inappropriate to wear like glasses I sometimes I wear glasses like I have to like run errands and stuff and I do go like let's say to CVS I probably won't take them off or if I go to Target and I'm just like literally I just have to buy the like, one or two things I probably won't take them off. I'll keep them on but like, it's like a restaurant it's kind of like a bar uh, the club like you just don't do that uh, you know you just have a little bit more proper etiquette and so I was wearing that I was feeling myself and then I was with one of my friends and then some guy just came up to me and let me tell you that day I got so many compliments my Lana necklace broke we'll talk about that in a second too see like I just have so much things to talk about so I got so many compliments it was like really packed on a Sunday and obviously it's like pride week it's the first one and I got so many compliments one thing about me is I never kind of allow myself to be kind of like pushed around or like you know yes I'm a very hug huggable person or like touchy person that's just the way I am when I meet like friends when I meet their friends I'm like 
like, you know, handshake. I'm like, no, I don't want a handshake. I want a hug. That's just how I am. Anybody that knows me knows that I am a very huggable. I love to touch people. Like, if you could let me touch your person's hair. Like, just be like, oh my god, your hair's so soft. Or like, oh my god, I just want to give you a hug. Like, just to feel that person's energy. I feel like a handshake is like not enough i feel like i'm saludando mi tío like i just don't want to do that i'm like bro just give me a hug so this guy gave me a compliment right he was like oh i love your i love your outfit and i said oh thank you and he's like you're cute and i said oh thank you and so he he kind of like stepped off and then like a minute later and my friend was already reading his energy he came back and he said am i just too old that's what it is and he looked like a guy that was in his 40s and i just said it's not that i just said thank you for the compliment and that's about it and oh my god, he got so upset, like he wanted to fight me. He like got so mad like that I said that. And um, th my friend knows that when I meet people, I'm very nice, but if it's in that side, if it's kind of like in a club social settings, I'm just very polite, pris and proper. I don't like to mingle out with people a whole, whole lot. If I just know you and you're with them, if I hang out with their friends, that's like different, but I don't really like to like branch out, especially if I'm like not interested. And if I was talking to another friend, and then that guy, they like going off on my friend, saying how he was, how I was rude, that I was stuck up. Like, who does he think he is? Like, I just because this and that, and it really wasn't that. It was just literally like I just said thank you so much, and I kept it moving. Like there was, you know, I, I'm trying to have a fun day, and that entire day I had su such a fun day. And the day I'm talking about is Sunday, so like Sunday. Um, I usually never have like a full like fun Sunday so on Sunday I went to have breakfast with one of my friends I had went out Friday night and we like bounced around a couple places but I went out Sunday I went out to many friends and then we went to the mall we were kind of like shopping my friend Haley because we we're gonna go to LA together I ended up going to the mall and then after that I went with my other friends in Deep Ellum and then we we're just kind of kicking it around I was kind of living the gay fantasy there and then I was wearing these roll mules. I'll talk about these in a second. I was wearing these shoes. Like I was just wearing like a very cute outfit. And so then my other friend was like, oh, I want to go to the bar. So obviously I'm not going to wear this to the bar. This is going to literally get trashed. So I go home on his way here. And then um, we just kind of met there. And so it was a good Sunday, fun day. But I will say uh, that Anina being outfit, I literally had so many compliments. And the thing is like, I know my all my friends tell me this everybody says that i look very stuck up i look very mean but like the moment that something comes out of my mouth i'm just like very like shy i'm like ah! like that's just how i am in person like i'm usually not the type of person to like ever initiate anything it's always just to say like hi if i already know you i'll say hi to you but i'm not the one to initiate like somebody new that person has to come up to me because i won't do it no matter whatever it is i may throw a compliment here and there oh my god i love your versace sneakers or i love your michael kors bag or whatever like i'll throw compliments like that but i would never like initiate something unless the other person does it or unless my friends kind of push me to do it like hey like come here and oh my god pride weekend was crazy i only opened the lesbian bar out the line was absolutely crazy on that friday night because it, it was literally pouring rain but there was still people going out girls um that bar looked popping i want to go there but it looks like it's going to be really really packed really good first pride weekend i'm excited to go out you know the next couple of days and live my gay fantasy live my gay moment but i love so much i, I love a lot of the people that i've been meeting i love hanging out with my friends like i just like doing things spontaneous like staying up 24 hours or you know going like just random places like i just love it all and i've just been meeting like a lot of friends i've been meeting like a lot of new people so yeah, i love it so much because i feel like i'm so social and i'm never like that one thing i, I always get questions asked about what do you when people ask you what do you do for a living or what do i say so to answer that question because i know i get that asked a lot i usually tell people i just say i'm either a stylist i say i work in media marketing or i just say um just like something like in that realm depending the person I never tell people that i do youtube or anything because i've seen people you know my friends or other people it's come out in topic of conversation and i don't blame them because you know it happens but all my friends everybody knows that that's something that we do not talk about with people that i don't know um you know people try to like milk me like oh like how do you do like i just keep it very low i'm not trying to make a whole scene i'm not trying to you know i just rather not because it can get very messy very easily i don't do anything wrong but i just i, ra I rather people just not know because 
I don't know. I just feel kind of iffy about that. For crazy, so I just kind of like tell people like I work for myself and that's about it. And once they start getting a little too technical, I start asking about what they do and then they kind of like, they kind of get the vibe like, oh, like, you know, I don't really want to talk about me. I want to talk more about you and they don't really like that. So it kind of changes it. And then on Sunday, I was also wearing all my Lana necklaces. So this is the Lana S initial. Isn't she beautiful? Like, look at that sheen. I was wearing it with um, this one, but the t-shirt version. And then I was wearing all the other Lana necklaces. And then I had my Michelle watch. And then I was at the gym earlier today and it got kind of bored. And Well, I was like running a little bit. And so I was like playing with my bracelets, but I was wearing all my four Lagos bracelets. Um, this is actually a good way to, so you can't lose them because they're just kind of old here. I was at the bar with a friend and um, I was talking to one of the people that used to work there because we actually used to be like co-workers and oh my god I love him so much he's like the nicest person ever like I can literally talk to him we were talking for like 20 minutes and every time I see him he's like such a ray of sunshine I love him so much and so I lean myself like whatever you know what I am like Tom Ford compact like Oh my god, like look at the mirror. Like I never use this bronzer, but I was just kind of like feeling myself like, you know, like I feel like I deprived myself, like I lost the weight, really great about my confidence. So I'm like, you know what? I just kind of like want to feel myself, the fantasy. And so I was just kind of like walking, you know, getting the men muy muy with my little drink in my hand. Like, oh my god, talking to my friends or whatever. My hair was done and everything. And then I guess like I was walking and my necklace fell. Like, um, like one of the chips actually broke. And so some guy behind me was like, I think you dropped this. And I was like, oh, thank you so much because I really would, I would have not noticed if it fell. And so basically the next day, so that was Sunday, on Monday I went to Nordstrom and I just exchanged it out. I just said, look, I just literally haven't had it for like less than a week and the chip already broke. Like I'm very, very careful with everything. Like I've had these two other Lana like nine months and the other one like four months and they, I've never had any issues with Lana jewelry. So they replaced it and it is what it is. Like I'm not really mad as long as it doesn't happen again. Um, but I almost lost the Lana necklace, which would have been very, very de bit devastating. But the thing is I could have gotten a claim for it. So it would have been fine. It would been the end of the world but it would just would have been such an inconvenience to go through water we love to stay hydrated in these streets um today i was wearing um i was kind of hailey bieber inspired okay so don't judge me don't laugh at me i like this picture of hailey bieber like i'm just like completely like obsessed with like i don't know why i just love this outfit so i could try to like mimic it I just kind of like try to and so i'm gonna show you booty short yes i know they're way too short i know they're a little inappropriate but the blazer kind of covers it. I've also been like the type of person that put like my jacket on my shoulders. I know, make, like, who do I think I am just like, you know, doing this? You cannot tell me that this is not a vibe. Like, this is such a vibe with my real uh, mules. Or um, I was wearing the, with the, with the Jambito Rossi boots that I got like three weeks ago. And oh my god, these Jambito Rossi boots, I'm going to link them down below. I'll link about everything. They are like literally the most comfortable boots ever. Like, I'm here for this game moment. And so like, look at this. Like, I'm just feeling like this Lee Bieber fantasy like i just i was i feel myself i put my square celine glasses on i put any of like my you know i usually have the same pair of glasses like i don't own any eight well, i like i do open a beaters but you know i typically wear just kind of like the same kind of like square glasses regardless of their like arabia all other people say a lot and you know i'm just kind of like feeling myself like oh my god like you cannot tell me that this is not a vibe or maybe not even the cassette oh my god this is also a vibe too like Oh my god, with these St. Laurent uh, glasses, like, girlies with the beat chain. Oh my god, do not get me started. Oh my god, such a fantasy, such a vibe. Like, I am here for it. So, um, this is kind of like the aesthetic that I've been doing a lot, is wearing, um, I have like 50 million of these, like, Aritzia bodysuits. I have them in black and white. I know I would usually wear them, like, every day. It's like, like, it used to, it's like my new Uniqlo t-shirt. Like, I used to wear Uniqlo t-shirts, like, the classic, like, men's ones, or, like, I think we're women, men's, and they're, like, 10 or $15. I'll leave them linked down below. I still swear by them, but I just love bodysuits because I don't like the tucking in. I just like how everything is seamless. I like how this is, like, a couple layers, and it just kind of keeps me very snatched, and it's kind of like a spandex seam material, so... I really like it, but that's kind of like the vibe that I've been feeling. Yesterday, what did I wear? I wore Agody actual jeans. I wore black bodysuit. Um, I think I wore the Agody bodysuit, the one that kind of goes like that. And then I wore my Old Saints leather jacket. I didn't carry a bag yesterday. Sometimes I don't carry bags, depending on the outfit. These John Vito Rossi boots, like I told you, these John Vito Rossi boots have been like um, on repeat nonstop. And so I I wore them and I was kind of like feeling myself. I really like the outfit, but much into um, kind of like that Hailey Bieber kind of like throw your blazer, maybe like a small bag and kind of like, just kind of like walking like 
like that like i'm just like that's like the vibe like that's what i'm feeling and i love it um i will say i did get a lot of support from a coach video uh from the cell one i will start doing more cell videos on a weekly basis it did really really well and i want to say thank you for all the love and support so you'll probably see one from like contemporary brands and stuff very very soon on the channel so i will say thank you thank you so much we're going to talk about my favorite candle every single year this is my favorite candle to buy every single year we're going to talk about this one too this trish mcavoy wow blueberry vanilla i'm about to finish it i'm going to re be repurchasing it like sometime later this week next time i'm at the mall you need to try this one baby a really good candle okay we're not really talking about her like she's just kind of like i just wanted to talk about her but baby I love me a good Bath & Body Works candle, a little homosexual gay Bath & Body Works. I actually need to go and exchange all the ones from, that I saw the receipt. I need to go and all the ones from Candle Day. I literally have like four or five that I haven't lit that are like Christmassy. I kind of want to go and like exchange them out. And so, oh my god, Island Margarita, baby. I, uh, this is my favorite candle, okay? if I don't know if this is still available. I think I got these during Candle Day. I don't really remember, but I have like five of these. Baby, this is the summer, this is the hot girl summer vibe. It literally smells like a margarita. It literally feels like I wanna go to Chili's two for 25 and then, you know, get my little gay chips, get my little uh, cahoon shrimp that they charge you an extra dollar. So it's actually uh, two for 26. And then, you know, obviously a margarita is extra than a drink. So it literally feels like a Chili's two for five. Like I'm wearing my Hailey Bieber outfit, right? I have my Bottega Veneta cassette. I'm just kind of feeling myself. And then I sit down to Chili's and I literally order a margarita mood literally such a vibe i'm like here for it i'm gonna start doing like these weekly kind of buy videos i find that they're kind of like cute i feel like i kind of get to like talk to you guys so like in vlogs and car vlogs i kind of talk about specific things and you know on the lives I, i'm very outgoing but i don't really talk a whole whole lot like i answer more questions and i like these because it's kind of like more chit chatty like we hit the vibe so i think that's what i want to talk about and every week is going to be different like there's gonna be new different aesthetics like new different things that i like right now i'm very into the Hailey bieber thing next week i could be totally over it girlies it could be literally whatever like it is uh, it, it's friend lost his wallet right he lost his wallet um, i always have cash on me so um i'm literally his bank while he gets his card back i think he actually got it back today and so so if my friends always like need anything they're like oh i need a hundred dollars cash i'm like here you go and then they'll just tell me or pay for me the money about my new bag this is my newest bag here you guys know how much i've been wanting a chloe marcy i know i kind of read chloe through the filth a lot I don't know why i don't know there's just some things from chloe that i don't love at all but then there's things that i love uh, love 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 so much so so a uh, chloe marcy i started working in fashion like when i started when i was 18. i've always wanted a marcy marcy is a top seller she is a bread and butter she's a replenishing style this one's a classic replenishing style but it's just in a seasonal color i've just always 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 wanted a chloe bag i saw me get the chloe kiss bag i ended up returning that one and ended up getting this one and the reason i got it is because i felt like it's like literally the perfect kind of blue like i just love the tone and when i wore it specifically wore like some lighter blue jeans but i've been wanting a chloe marcy for such a long time especially now that i saw my mom remember i got my mom the gray one from north mac i saw her uh, for like 400 and something and so i saw her have that one and she's been like been wearing it she actually really likes the bag and so for me i just uh, myself so you know i returned the kiss and i ended up getting this instead and i love it so much the quality is really great i will say um i i just love it like look at the details i, I like how this looks like a horse bit uh i love the hardware i love the leather going between you have this little leather detail the chloe marshes are actually made really well the product knowledge for chloe really well and so um i the details of stuff and when somebody makes a chloe bag i believe the regular marshy has like bit or like a hundred it has like a lot of pieces of leather but the people that work that make chloe bags specifically like the marcy's like there'll be one person that would make like maybe you know not the stitching here but they'll make like this here right they'll cut this out and that's what they'll do that's like their job to do and then there's one person that will focus on all the hardware and then there's one person that would focus maybe on maybe the strap and so people that that do the chloe um bags like they are they don't like they don't do the bag from start to finish they really master it and they really do the same thing of the same part so somebody that's been doing you know the flaps for chloe marcy for probably 10 years now 
and like they are do this and somebody will do the hardware so I really appreciate the craftsmanship of Chloe. I will always say, you know, as much as I like to tear Chloe down sometimes, um, like as far as like just in general, like, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of everything from Chloe. It's a little bit too boho chic, but I live in Texas and I feel like this is such like a yeehaw, like such an essential bag to actually really like it. I think it's a really good bar bag. I think it's a really kind of like, I wear a lot of blue jeans, so I'm wearing my Trubridge Kira in the blue a lot. So I just feel like, you know, having another blue bag wouldn't hurt anybody, but I will say, um, I do love the bag a lot, um, but the craftsmanship and the quality of it is phenomenally well. Love the glazing, like, I just, I love it. Like I said, I me ha quedado ganas with the Chloe bag for such a long time, and I'm finally glad that I have one, and I just like how it's kind of like carefree, like, it's just kind of like, oh yeah, like whatever, like, I have a face mask even though I don't really use it. I have this little Gucci thing, we're gonna talk about her in a second. You know, I can throw her here, I can throw my little gay AirPods, I can throw a little Lancome little makeup powder. What I like is like, look, it just like fits there perfectly. Like, oh my god, I need a touch up on my powder. Oh my god, girly, I have it right here. Um, it's just like such a vibe, a Tom Ford lip liner, um, maybe like a, a Chanel lip balm. It's like, it's like such a vibe, like, it's just very carefree. This with a blue Levi Strucker jacket, because I have like two of them, or maybe three of them. I I don't even know. I have a Stella McCartney baby blue um, shirt jacket. Oh my god, that would hit the vibe. But like, look at that. Like, this is absolutely pretty. And the camera, it's a little bit more bluey. It's definitely, it's like a baby, it's a true baby blue color. But I really enjoy the little gay Marcy, like the mini one. Like, look how cute that is. Like, I just, I love it. I like that it doesn't have hard, I don't, I like that. It just doesn't scream branding. It's just like, if you know what it is, like, sling it on your side. Like, you know, it's just kind of like, oh yeah, like, um, I'm hanging out with like some of my friends or like oh my god I'm gonna go buy a bar with a drink I'm like here's my card whatever like I'm gonna like put it here like I just don't really care I flap it and I'm like all over the side I like too is that I can kind of close it like that um, I usually keep it I'm not gonna be doing that all the time I'm I know my things really well no one's gonna like pit pocket me that that doesn't happen here in Texas um, but I love it a lot and I'm so happy that I have a close seat and I find that this is kind of like a Texas essential I feel like Shin Girl like essential starter pack is like a Chloe Marcy, um, Tory Burch Miller sandal, David Yerman bracelet um, in shorts, like even though I don't wear Lululemon, the Louis Vuitton key clay, they're like Ray-Ban aviator Kind of like the aesthetic that it kind of gives me but obviously um, you know, I was gonna go for different colors. I want the black one. I didn't want the gray one anymore because my mom has the larger gray one. I wanted the tan one, but I already have like a lot of tan bags. I have a row one, I have this Troy Birch one, um, I have my Coach Tabby, I have a Troy Birch McGraw small crossbody, I have my seal. So I already have like a lot of tan bags. I have any blue bags, and blue is like one of my favorite colors, so I can wear it like all white. I can wear it with jeans, so I, I mean I love it a lot, and I'm so happy that I have her in my collection. Uh, it just kind of like it's just like very like what it is. I'm also gonna be talking about my setup now. Okay, I don't think this week because I'll probably be this busy, and this is there will be this will be like literally like out of like my like 16 hour day it will literally take like hours for me to do everything or five hours for going to pick it up me putting it in my car and i also don't have my car so i'm gonna wait till my um suv is ready and then um i'll do it as you can see behind me um i all the bags are spaced out now i feel like my bags were very cluttered and i will say i'm very blessed to say like if you look back like at my closet tour like nine months ago eight months ago she has really grown like i can tell you like i did not have the eleanor i don't have the bottega i did not have this i did not have um the beat bag i did not have the 19 bag i didn't have the pulling bag i did not have i didn't have any of these bags here at all none of them and so my handbag collection just been growing um in this black shelf i usually have shoes at the bottom i literally cleared it out and i'll show you at the end um actually i'll show you right now this is what it looks like so i kind of i'm gonna move the chair right here too so i i like that it's more of a corner and so you kind of have the bags all the way to the bottom versus i have the shoes here and so right here i put another billy bookcase so it's actually going to be one two three four and then all the other bags so like right now i don't have my tofar bag displayed my other two pillow bags um, and a couple other bags that I have, my Marc Jacobs tote, my cassette, so, um, you know, especially, I don't have, like, even the other Black St. Laurent tote, my Chloe Marcy, my Kira, and so I definitely do, I prefer kind of the edited look, I like how it looks more clean, it looks more boutique-y, and I really enjoy that, so for me, I think, um, I think I'm gonna add another Billy bookcase, and then I'm gonna put a lot more shoes in the closet, so it looks a lot more edited, this is gonna be kind of like my new setup, and, um, I cannot wait to add another Billy bookcase, so it looks a lot more edited, here I have all my Dagny Dover stuff, but I like this layout, you guys let me know, but, oh my god, especially this black one, fire, freaking love, I'm really planning to kind of, like, 
Um, make it a little bit more edited. Oh my god, I wore my wing boots out for the first time. Wore them only to the restaurant. I did not wear them anywhere else, but um, they are really dirty. And it was like literally from the car ballet to the building to the building to ballet for pretty dirty. So I have to clean them up, but I do like them and they do give me the gay fantasy. I just didn't like how they kind of like wrinkled up here, but it's fine. And boots are super comfortable. I didn't want to give you an update on that. These grow mules. God, these are the most comfortable things. It reminds me how much I love mules. And they made me wear my Gucci mules a lot more. I have those little game Gucci mules over there. I love them so much. They are a little dirty, um, but nothing that I'm magic eraser. And they're they're like a little stiff. I'm not gonna say they, they did hurt a little bit in it, but they're perfect and I love the row one of my favorite brands they came out with a bikini like a like a little briefy and I ordered it so we'll see how we'll I feel like I always miss out and then when I edit the videos I'm just like Sergio you forgot this Sergio you forgot that so I wanted to talk about uh, a new purchase too I bought this belt this is a Saint Laurent belt um, it is in black grain leather and girl I'm a size 80 now even my Hermes belt is way too big and that's an 85 um, my Givenchy belt is a little bit too big on me. I have been listing a lot of things on Poshmark, so if you are interested, um, I'll leave it linked down below. But a lot of things have been selling. You guys have thrown me a reasonable offer. I have been taking reasonable offers, just not super like low ball. Like if I put something for like hundred dollars, don't offer me fifty. Like offer me maybe like throw seventy, and then I'll meet you. You know, at eighty five. You know what I mean? Like that's the type of deals that I would throw in. But oh my god, look at it. I have been wanting. Uh, kind of like a black designer simple belt. That's not my Hermes one. I feel like my Hermes one is like super loud and during the daytime It just it's it has like a lot of scratches. Oh my god. Who's dying? Who's dying? I hope god bless them. I hope they're okay the other day at my apartment like like in the hub of everything I literally saw a car up from my balcony and I saw a car Well, I heard it and then I looked outside. I, I guess it was like a drunk driver or something like um, Literally hit a tree and it was like a BMW and I was like, oh my god girly and I, Like for the next hour because all you heard was like you heard well, you saw a lot of flashing police cars And then you also just kept hearing like a bunch of noises that was not cute I'm pretty sure all my neighbors were so upset um, but I've been liking this one a lot. It goes perfectly with my cape. I love my cape bag and it fits me perfectly. A girl's a size, um, a girl's a size 80 in the, in the belt bag. And so even though this is grainy leather, this is, well, this is kind of like more of like a sheeny grainy. Like it has a nice sheen to it. This one has more of a matte leather effect, but at night you can't really tell, but the hardware is the same. Um, but I love it. It took a good matching set, and then well, if I like a brand, I kind of buy into the brand. So even though like my Lulu's black on black hardware, which I have been loving, I'll do a review on her. Um, I don't really care a lot to like, oh, let the hardware is not matching. If anything, I kind of like it because I find that it gives it more characteristic, and then I have some St. Laurent shoes. I thought about like building this with my St. Laurent blazer, Oh my god, chef's kiss. Actually, my blazer is literally a hot mess. I remember I went out, me and my, some of my other friends. What I like about me is I like bounce around with friends. Like, as far as, like, who I hang out with, like, I can hang out with all different types of girls. And I, um, I was about to take one and then the was spilled all over the blazer. So I have to take that to the dry cleaners. But actually, that's not a bad idea. I just thought about that. This built it on the waist with the St. Laurent blazer with nothing underneath. My black Bottega pants with the St. Laurent white boot with the cape bag um, outfit. I'm actually gonna try that, but I love this little gay belt. So literally classic Saint Laurent, and you can never get any classier from that. I've been spending my days just kind of like doing a lot of things. I will say I did fall off a little bit from like working out. I didn't feel like inspired to for like I don't know from I would say from May kind of 15th through the 31st. But now I've been going every day. I feel like a lot better now. I don't know. I feel like I got like a little sluggish. I don't know if you guys could tell. And um, girl, t life's not gonna stop. Like literally, I go through things so fast. I don't even remember what I did like a week ago. Like I, if you told me, Sergio, what did you do last Thursday? I would really have to go on my phone and really look in to see what I did. Like I just love my life because it's just like it's it's like nothing's the same every day. There's always something going on. There's always things to do. I love it so much, and there's nothing bad that I can say about it. But. This is the vibe that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Little Gucci Dionysus, Dionysus. Um, I love so freaking much. So I, you guys already know that I've, I've been having this. I bought this pre-loved um, from the same guy that sold me this and then a couple guys. Um, he was my manager for a little bit and then he um, he's not. And so he he, would, he just always sells me like a lot of things. Like I bought like Burberry's cards. Like I just bought like a couple things throughout him in a couple months. And so I bought this one, I think for $200 or $250, but for $540. And he actually had like a Gucci um, Supreme bag. And so he kind of put it on the, got it. When I bought it off, I think it was like the most cutest thing ever. Like 
I think that this is such I get so many compliments on this. You wore it out the other day and, and I just, it was just kind of like a vibe. Like just kind of like taking out your card and kind of paying for it or kind of like carrying it like a mini jacuzzi bag even though I actually use it as a wallet. I use this for a wallet for the, for the longest. I have like my cards, I have like my ID, I have cash in here. But I didn't have this because you could take this little chain off. And so I, I thought I lost the chain but I allegedly I found it back on last Friday. And so, girly. You cannot tell me that this is not a vibe. Like, I just love this little this little gay Dianos' bag. Like, they literally the most, maybe cutest thing ever. And I get so many compliments. All my friends are telling me, I want to buy this off of you. Can I buy it? For pre-love, they go for like seven or $800. There's the Marmot version of it, like a little flap one. They, they're kind of expensive. Gucci should actually remake these. These are such a cute thing. Like, I love this little thing so much. Like, imagine if you want to have a child and you put this on them, like a one-year-old. That is such a mood and that is such a vibe, especially if I have the big one, this little puppy. And this is kind of like a forever piece. I should do like the pieces that I get most complimented on slash unique pieces. Like this, like my Versace blazer, my Brunello Cuccinelli blazer, um, I, I, my Tory Burch Eleanor. Like I just have a couple pieces that I just kind of like, they're just kind of like the coolest things that I have wardrobe. And I kind of want to do a video like that, but this is definitely one of my absolute favorites i have not really been using any of the other wallets that i've gotten i've been really using this one a lot just because i like the little handbag factor i saw my goyard here oh i bought this one from him too but i didn't notice that it was kind of like i don't know the glazing kind of like came apart i really don't care it, it is what it is but i still have my goyard i still use it i still have my tree bridge walker card case i have my saint laurent one anymore i got rid of it um but yeah this is such a vibe too and i love it so much and then I'm gonna get a haircut. Tomorrow's Friday. Today, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm gonna do a live stream. Uh, I just been kind of like kicking it up with the girls. Um, I'm about to like text some of my friends. And right, I think right now I'm about to have lunch in a bit. Uh, I'm gonna edit some videos. Um, I need to clean my apartment a little bit. Well, the, my apartment's clean. I just have to um, mop and sweep the floor. That's like the worst thing to do. I can clean the toilet. I can clean the dishes. I can clean everything. My least favorite thing to do always is to mop and sweep my apartment and so that's what i'm gonna do right now and i'm so excited to um get the other billy bookcase you'll see that i'll probably vlog it oh my god there's like a big mosquito oh my god oh since I, I had yesterday i was um my friends came over and i had we were like we had left the door open but there's like a really big mosquito on the thing i have to kill it and so to kind of have it more so it looks a little bit more boutique -y. i say thank you thank you so much for watching this video i love catching up with you guys what the 411 is what is the pride tea i definitely want to hear it down below and i love catching up with you guys miss things i like kind of like showing you like my little knickknacks i show you done the gay little chloe marcy living our best lives i'm gonna chug this horchata know what the tea is definitely let me know down below i love each and every single one of you have a good day or night whenever you're watching this and let me know what your favorite item is that you're feeling in june vibe is just kind of like very kind of like Haley bieber like i just find that it's bieber and also because she has like a necklace too like the lana blake the one that i have there's this jewelry brand called shea and she has one that kind of looks like it so i definitely do feel like Haley bieber like i don't really care for Haley bieber like that but that look was iconic like that will go down to as one of my favorite looks of this year by far so Thank you, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll leave the links for everything down below. Uh, we loved a little shape moment. Guys, and let me know if you want me to do kind of more like these kind of chit-chat sitting down videos, kind of catching up, giving you the tea, giving you the 411. Let me know down below, and I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Hi, right, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.